Um, this first one I have here, this is a Cambridge. It is a Cambridge Pet Minion. Uh, this is, I'll open it up for you here. This one is a calf split leather. It's the uh, Pit Minion version. So what this is here, if you look at it, the font, uh, let me go back to the front here. The font for this Bible, I'm going to keep everything really simple, is a 6.75 um, point font lexicon number one. So if you look at it here, just an idea of the, the text size. It's definitely readable. Um, you know, I'm in my 40s now, and uh, if you look over to the right of this camera over here, you're going to see quite a few uh, sets of glasses, my regular progressives, as well as some reading glasses. Um, so I definitely have to say, if I can read this without my glasses on, it's uh, definitely a nice font. Uh, my next one I have here, in my top five, this one is actually a French Morocco leather. And if you see this cracking right here, it's the only thing about these glued that I don't really care for is you get that. I mean, kind of can't really get away with it, but it is what it is. Nonetheless, this is a this is a Cambridge Personal Concord. So it's a little bit smaller than the regular, well, actually quite a bit smaller than the regular Concord. But this is the King James Version, red letter edition to the Cambridge logo on the bottom. Uh, if you go to the front of this one, your Cambridge right there, your Concord reduced. If you flip over here, this one is a 6.5. It says it's a 6.5 font. So if I switch over here, let's just go to let's go to some red letter here. If we go here, so this is a 6.5, it says. If you see the size of that, I'm at the same view as I'm as I was with the Pit Minion. The odd thing is, is this being a 6.5 and the Pit Minion being a 6.75, 6.5 versus 6.75, can you see the difference? This is definitely much more readable. And in my opinion, I would honestly have to say that it actually looks much clearer than it does on the Pit Minion. So, Pit Minion, 6.75 font. This one right here, 6.5 and it's definitely significantly much more readable so you have your calf split leather and you have your French Morocco these are two of my faves New King James Pit Minion and the personal Concord reference is a King James version so I'll move those two off to the side here my next on my list of loving 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 favorites would be BAM Big Daddy right there now this is also a Cambridge. This is a Cambridge, and this is the Clarion, and it's in a New King James version. Um, this one here is in a calfskin. So this is a calfskin leather. The thing I gotta say about this Bible that is amazing is even right out of the box, if you hold this Bible and you just drop it, you get this amazing. Just look at that. Look at that flop. I love that it just flops down. When you flop. It's like an accordion. Let me give you a clarion reference. And the font size for this one is 8.75. Really, really awesome. So my number three would be my Cambridge Clarion New King James in the calfskin. My number four would be this one. Bloom. This one is stitched. So you have your lining sewed in. This is a King James version. This is a local church. It's the 115, I believe. Let me say that it's 115. Yes, yeah, the 115. Um, and this is all black letter. The font size on this one, I believe it's an 8. I couldn't tell you for sure without having to go back onto the site and look, but I believe it's an 8. So when you look at that text, really, really easy to read. Really, really easy to read. You have your notes in the center column. It references all that stuff's in the middle. Nice and easy to read. Just beautiful text. Absolutely beautiful text. As you can see, this is one of my main Bibles, some of these pages are so colored up, it looks like a rainbow Bible, but it's absolutely one of my favorite Bibles, that's why it's my number two. Um, this is not even getting into study Bibles, these are just regular, regular, uh, regular reading Bibles that I use to study and read in, but that's number four, that is a local church Bible publishers, King James Version 115, and like I said before, that is the same text block as the Cambridge Cameo awesome awesome Bible and this one out of the other three that I showed you you can't do that this one has the most flexible cover just amazing so you can roll that up 
It's also leather lined on the inside, and like I said before, it's stitched, so it's not glued. So if you look at the here, there's no creases and stuff like on the other ones. Absolutely beautiful Bible. And I love that right there. It's edge lined. And my number one Bible is this one right here. This is a... Anybody who's familiar with Bible should notice just by this yap right here. This is a King James Version Allen. This is the Brevere Claritin. It has a cyclopedic index in it. Um, it has the full yap on it. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the yap is, that's old school right here. So you take this right here and it just folds over and covers your text block. Completely protects it all. Just amazing Bible. Amazing. I got this thing brand new and it just was instantly... It's like they worked it before they even sent it. It was just amazing how supple and how flexible it is. Um, this is a Highland goat skin. It is, they do paste them down, but the way that they, the way they construct these is just amazing. It has the blue here, and it is edge lined as well. And they have this little reinforcement that that uh, our Allen does, just kind of make that a little tougher right there. But this Bible here, I mean, I, I don't do this because I don't like to do these to these RL my Allen Bibles, but it is so flexible you can easily you know fold it and flip it. It's just amazing. It is art guild. So you have the gold right there. You flip it open, you get a beautiful, beautiful red art gilding right there. The text on this is, I believe, an eight point. I could be wrong, but it is an amazing, amazing Bible. Now, this Bible lays flatter than any Bible I've ever owned. I mean, right out of the box, it just lays flat. You flip it, and it's just it lays. Uh, like I said before, the text is absolutely beautiful, crystal clear. I just kind of want you to see the text and how beautiful it is and just kind of show you why these are my favorite five. Um, didn't go too deep into the ex explanations of everything, but man, that's just beautiful though. Absolutely beautiful. This is definitely a Bible that I will have for my life, for my lifetime. Pass it down to my kids and my grandkids and hopefully it will still be holding the test of time and be something that could be a treasure to them someday. I love the Word of God. Just like Jesus said, sanctify them by thy truth, for thy word is truth. I definitely, definitely, people spend money on cars and everything else. I love the Word. But that's it. That's my top five. The R.L. Allen, Local Church Bible Publishers, Prevere Clarendon, 115, Cambridge Clarion, the, moving on up here a little bit, then you have the Oxford Personal Reference Concord, and Pitt Minion. Those are my top five right there. Hope that helped somebody. If not, may. Wish you the best. Love you. God bless.